Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of today. It's a Sunday afternoon here in South Africa and I'm reading on this very bizarre story that was um, broken in the Daily Mail today that allegedly King Charles has asked Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, to broker a deal so that Harry and Meghan can attend the coronation. He'd rather allegedly have them there than not have them sidelined and causing trouble. William, the obstruction, the fly and the ointment, according to this article. I'm not going to read on any of that right now. I'm going to read on the weirdness around the story. Two weird things. The first was the uh, Justin Welby story that was a sort of next to the story that he's fallen under the Harkle spell. Uh, I've read on that. Uh, second weird thing that um, struck me when I read this article uh, was the, the comment in it that Harry wants an informal assurance he will be able to keep his titles. This is part of the negotiation. He wants an informal assurance he will be able to keep his titles. Fluffy has just shown up for her food. Her food is there, but I'm not uh, going to stop the reading now to pick her up and put her next to the food. Um, it goes on to say, the article, for him to attend and then to be stripped of his titles afterwards is a non-starter. Um, while he might decide at some point to discard his titles of his own volition, he objects to the idea of being forcibly stripped of them. That's a pretty weird thing to put in an article where allegedly Charles is um, going out of his way to get uh, Justin Welby in to negotiate a deal with the Harkle so that they can attend. As suddenly all the drama isn't about William and William being obstructive, it's about Harry not wanting to be forcibly stripped of his titles. So is there something um, going on behind the scenes? I'm going to do a five card reading. Um, sorry, there is wind howling. You might hear strange creaks and groans. It's a, as, as if we're on a ship from the high seas as the wind is blowing. Um, I'm using the new Palladini tarot for this reading. And uh, of course, let's just remind you as I finish shuffling that it is just a tarot reading for entertainment purposes or just my opinion or just energy or just speculation. I read on the royals because they're an archetypal family and we can apply the lessons that we learn from archetypes to our own humble lives. And there is a disclaimer in the box below. Please read it. Please form your own conclusions on this story. This very weird story. So we're going to find out in this five card reading with the new Paladini Terror what's going on. Are there moves afoot? And um, it is up to the government not up to the royals themselves to strip titles. It's something that has to go through Parliament as I understand it. So that's the first thing. Are there moves afoot to strip Harry of his titles in light of his book, Spare? Um, how does Charles feel about it? Is Charles in favour of Harry being stripped of his titles? How does Harry feel? Is there a panic on in Montecito? Uh, and is this why we're having this article? Is there a panic on in Montecito about losing the titles? What else do they have? They might have their hundreds of millions that they got from Netflix and Spotify and being chimpo of better up. But uh, Duke of Sussex, if he's just a Mr. Uh, Mr. Windsor, uh, how would that go? And then are we going to hear anything? Uh, King Charles is allegedly going to give an interview to the BBC and sort out some of these family dramas in the interview. Um, so what's going on? What is going on? Page of Cups has come out as the underlying energy. That is um, uh, a communication, but it's a communication that's an emotional communication, a kind of an offer of love, an offer of an apology. It can be um, some sort of um, trying to, to ingratiate oneself, trying to woo people, trying to win people over. That's the Page of Cups. That's what he's about. Um, we've got a Knight of Wands as a secondary energy, but I don't think we need to look at him right now. Um, so it's interesting that this is meant to, to uh, tug at the heartstrings, meant to um, meant to make people feel sorry for the Harkles and feel sorry for Harry. And um, secondary energy of it is, of course, children. If the Harkle titles go, then the children's titles, which they don't have, have really. Although I think Archie has got that Dumbarton title if he wants it. Ho, ho. I think, you know, Prince Philip's hand in that. Um, <laughs> my opinion. 
of course just my opinion uh, but there is that as well uh, because we have uh, children energy in this reading that's shown up and yesterday I did a reading on the strange tale uh, that the Harkles were asking for some role for their children in the coronation um, so that um, you know even though the parents aren't welcome at least the children can be uh, on the balcony being dangled over the balcony sort of Michael Jackson style I'm being facetious I'm being facetious uh, so tell us heart of the matter what's going on please universe what can you tell us three of pentacles um, this is a negotiation card this is want to be involved in something please 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 don't leave us out we really want to be involved we want to be part of the team we want to be royal adjacent we we need this um, we need to be seen as part of that team so that's what's going on doing their best to ingratiate themselves here um I'm always getting a mental image of a dog with sad eyes of you know when someone's eating something delicious and please don't forget about me give me a morsel of the tasty treat please 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 so that kind of energy that I'm getting from this reading um yeah um so uh, are there moves afoot to strip the Harkles of their titles? Is this why the sudden panic and the sudden article this morning saying that there were negotiations underway with the Archbishop? Uh, are there moves afoot to remove Harkles? Page of Wands, Wands is a communication. We're getting communication here, messages, uh, messages going out. Um, could be. It's more of a yes energy than a no energy. It's juvenile energy. Um, so I would say beginnings, early days of discussing this, of um, things being planned. We know that there are bills in Parliament, or there's at least one bill in Parliament about stripping titles. I'm not sure where it's got um, in, in going through uh, the various readings and whatever it's got to go through. But uh, certainly news, page of wands is news, page of rods. The Harkles may well have heard... Um, have got received information about this. I've got two communication cards that uh, this might be planned, that this might be underway, that people might be talking about this. It's low key still, this is low level. This isn't big stuff, this isn't a tower or a death card or something like that, but it's discussion, it's conversation. It's messages that go far and wide that might go across the sea and reach Montecito, might slight like mansion. So uh, it definitely it looks like this is a conversation that's been had. Uh, it's a conversation coming from King Charles. Does King Charles want to strip Harry of his titles? His involvement in it, Nine of Cups, no. No, this is not coming from the king himself. Um, it would be, um, I think, a source of anguish for the king, Nine of Cups. Um, in reverse it would be very disappointing it would be very upsetting it would be very hurtful quite devastating nine of cups is wish fulfillment it's the last thing he wants quite honestly it's the last thing he wants I'm always getting that this page of wands is referring to opinion polls things like that the, that the royals are aware of and that the harkles are aware of and that might be being carted around in parliament and look at this and should we do something about this should uh, there might be other people involved in moving this along definitely not coming from the king he finds this very upsetting this is the last thing in the world he wants he wants his lovely boy his darling boy to stay a prince well though you can't get rid of the prince thing without great difficulty but wants him to stay duke of sussex um and that means that herself is going to have to stay the Duchess of Sussex. Um, so, um, next question is, how worried is Harry about this? How worried is he? Yeah, he's worried. Knight of Cups, very upset about it. Very upset about it. There it is, the Knight of Cups. Um, something else that's bouncing at me from that knight of cups is it's a prince william energy because knights are princes so we've got a, an upset knight of cups the first energy that's coming off that card has been energy yeah he's very upset um, it might be forcing him to drink or causing him to drink too much or self-medicate with uh, some of the many substances we know now from his book that he uses to self-medicate i don't have to say allegedly anymore um, the knight of cups um, is also Prince William energy and it could be coming from Prince William. 
and it's sitting under the three of pentacles and I first of all read that energy that card as saying the Harkles want to be involved in the coronation but it can also be that there are teams there are meetings taking place about stripping Harry and Meghan of their titles low-key meetings they're not huge big things discussions setting up a committee to look at it uh, behind the scenes you could get and it could be I'm speculating as a tarot reader could be coming from Prince William or Harry could think that it's coming from Prince William outcome uh, titles going forcibly stripped of titles we're going to hear something wow a burden ten of wands a very 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 heavy burden that someone is carrying on their own um, it's going to get worse it's going to get worse I'm not sure from that card whether he's going to lose his title if it was in reverse I would say yeah he, it's gone because then it's something that's dropped something that's lost something that's put down that he himself might even put down and I have got that energy that it, it's contemplated that he might at some stage step away from the royal family um, but currently and I don't, I don't think we're looking that far into the future with this card I think currently current timeline uh, near future ish we have got struggling along with this burden that he himself is burdened by this because he can't in, in all uh, honesty um, integrity he can't carry on with his titles when he has attacked the royal family as savagely as he had and accused them of all the things that he has it doesn't sit well uh, it doesn't look good um, so I think struggling 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 with this burden uh, this is his energy uh, meetings news messages going along that is not coming from the king very unhappy doesn't want it could be coming from William Harry himself is very upset about that very hurt broken hearted can't believe it that this is being discussed um, trying his best to ingratiate himself or send out messages of almost reconciliation but they're not quite working are they I mean they're so faulty these attempts at um, including the, the meeting in Montecito one which is just farcical of yes he's willing to make amends but the royals must go all the way to Montecito for this to happen it's not how it works um, but ultimately we've got a burden that is carried and carried alone and it's getting heavier and heavier the ten of wands is an ending an ending of carrying this burden and I do think I do think at some stage whether voluntarily or whether because of um, decisions that are made in government or wherever titles are going I don't think that this he is going to maintain his status and his position in the royal family going forward that's current energy as I keep saying in these readings it swirls around um, it, I have to spend quite a lot of time settling myself into the energy just to do these readings now because the energy is so volatile um, but that's the reading um, pretty interesting I would say and I'll carry on unless something else weird happens I'll carry on tomorrow with these odd um, suggestions of meetings and negotiations and see what else I can pull from them uh, but as I say we will see what else might be happening and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon